today we are going to see inductive type transducer and their application so inductive transducer works on the principle of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction to understand this principle we use a simple analogy here newton's second law of motion is having same analogy with the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so we know that the force is directly proportional to rate of change of momentum that is higher is the rate of change of momentum higher will be the force so he, here to balance this equation we use constant so finally f is equal to ma similarly faraday's law of electromagnetic induction state that the voltage induced is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux there are two ways by which the magnetic flux can be changed you can see in this animation that how voltage will get induced into the coil so here first coil moves to and fro in a magnetic field that's why there is rate of change of magnetic flux and causes voltage induced into this coil this voltage shown on a voltmeter similarly if coils are fixed but magnetic field moves to and fro due to motion of this magnet what will happen there is cutting action of a magnetic flux and due to this there is rise in voltage similarly if rotor or coil rotates between the magnetic field there is cutting action of a magnetic flux and that's why voltage get induced in this coils similarly if you fix the wire or coil and if you rotate the magnetic field same action take place and there is rise in voltage or voltage will get induced in this coils so this principle is used for two different devices so first one is generator that is electric generator in electric generators magnetic field or magnetic flux are fixed and coil moves between this flux that's why here rate of change of magnetic flux is due to the motion of the coil so here this is ns pole and the flux linking these two poles is shown on this diagram so this is core or coil as it moves between this magnetic field voltage will get induced so voltage get induced in this moving coil so second application there is transformer so here coil is fixed and the magnetic field moves so this is simple core made of ferromagnetic material for linking magnetic field so this is secondary and primary coils voltage is supplied between primary coils and due to flow of current moving magnetic field produced and this field try to complete the magnetic path so here due to secondary coils there is a cutting action 
of a flux and that's why there is rise in voltage or voltage voltage will get induced into secondary coil it now we are going to see the common type of electromechanical transducer that works on same principle that is principle of mutual induction so here lvdt lvdt means linear variable differential transformer it is a linear position sensor here it converts linear motion into corresponding electrical signal it is a passive transducer cause it requires external power supply this is cylinder and primary winding is placed at the center and two secondary windings of a same number of turns are placed on either side of this primary winding these two windings are connected in opposite phase and in series and core is placed centrally here primary coil is energized from external ac supply due to this ac current alternating magnetic field produces around this coil so here this is a graphical representation of lvdt same primary coils are located at the center current is supplied to the primary coil which which creates the magnetic field and this field try to complete magnetic path when core is placed in a tube so magnetic path completed gets completed through this core so here magnetic field links with the secondary coils and due to these voltage get induced in these coils so as core is placed at the center that is null position same voltage get induced in both the coils if you measure voltage across these two coils that is at a null position the voltage will be zero that is the difference between voltage induced bit between these two coils as we move core to any direction there is change in voltage induced in these two coils so voltage difference changes so here voltage difference is a major of the displacement of the core so as core displacement take place there is change in voltage if we plot voltage versus displacement graph we will we will get like this so this is the operating range here operating range is up to where voltage is directly proportional to the displacement now tacho generators this is speed measurement device it works on electric generator principle or principle of faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so this is two in one contact laser tachometer 
for high speed we can use laser beam and for low speed it is contact type so using wheel type tachometer for a belt we can measure speed and we can use pointed tip for axle load so here voltage induced is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux here permanent magnet or electromagnet fixed to the rotor and stator having pickup coils to pick up the voltage so this is permanent magnet which is connected to the shaft here shaft rotates with the object whose speed is to be measured as it rotates magnetic field around the magnetic field around this magnet also get rotated with it so here stator is fixed but cutting action taking place due to the motion of the magnetic field so here voltage get induced is directly proportional to the speed of the rotor so this magnitude of voltage can be measured with the help of the voltmeter and this voltmeter is calibrated in terms of the speed 